Hey everybody, this is the full statement that Hope Solo gave after the U.S. Women's National Team lost to Sweden Friday in a penalty kick battle for the ages that, well, the United States wound up on the wrong side of. This is what she said. And this is according to Grant Wall, a writer from Sports Illustrated. I thought that we played a courageous game. I thought we had many opportunities on goal. I think we showed a lot of heart. We came back from a goal down. I'm very proud of this team. But I also think we played a bunch of cowards. The best team did not win today. I strongly believe that. I think you saw American heart. You saw us give everything we had today. Why Sweden cowards, she was asked. Sweden dropped off. They didn't want to play. They didn't want to pass the ball. They didn't want to play great soccer. It was a combative game. A physical game. Exactly what they wanted and exactly what their game plan was. They dropped into 50. Excuse me, dropped into a 50. They didn't try and press. They didn't want to open the game. And they tried to counter with long balls. We had that style of play when Pia was our coach. I don't think they're going to win. Excuse me. I don't think they're going to make it far in the tournament. Excuse me. I think it was very cowardly, but they won. They're moving on, and we're going home. Hope just told it like it was, from her point of view. And people jumped all over her for saying that uh, Sweden was a bunch of cowards. And they have a number of media types who, you have to be honest with you, okay? There are times when I really wish that media people who make judgmental comments about athletes when they get into trouble, be a DUI or domestic violence charge, would go through the same problems themselves and they see how they like it when other people criticize them in public the way that they criticize Hope Solo. Their criticisms have been the worst the most vile and the ugliest of anyone on social media. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. But I digress. The bottom line is that Hope, from her point of view, felt that the style of play Sweden used didn't allow for the kind of battle she wanted. In a way, if you think about it, she actually acknowledged how great their game plan was. And... The, she acknowledged the fact that it succeeded. And that's nothing new in sport. And to call her out as being some sort of vile person is absolutely ridiculous. Hope Solo, in making her statement, is no different than a statement that I believe it was Pittsburgh Steelers safety Mel Blount made about the Dallas Cowboys during the 70s, the time when the Cowboys were known for their multiple offense, pre-shifting, and general trickery in terms of misdirection play design. He said the Cowboys try to fool folks instead of out-physical them. What's the difference? There is none. And if you drill down to Blunt's entire repertoire of comments, you would find that he basically is saying the same thing about the Cowboys that Hope Solo said about Sweden. But no one called... Mel Blount, a sore loser. In fact, they couldn't because it was the Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Dallas Cowboys. Now, what if the U.S. Women's National Team won and Hope Solo made those comments? She still would have been criticized, and it's still wrong. She called it like it was. She didn't pretend to be happy that she lost or the team lost. She didn't pretend to enjoy what she went through. She was emotionally honest. She was authentic. But what I love about Hope Solo is the same thing I love about Ayn Rand. In that their power, their emotional power, their personality, their perceived sexual power is just too much for some people. It's too much for them to handle. And so it seems like they're always trying to put a bottle on hope in some kind of way.
today is no less an example of what I'm talking about. The bottom line is hope is always right. And that's the way a sportsman is who wants to win. They hate losing. Oh, by the way, let it be known, she did shake their hand and she didn't run off the field to escape contact with them and she did not avoid the press. But, you know, no one bothered to point that out.